Today I wanna to talk to you about a tip from Monopoly that will help you build wealth in your life. Now the other day, the other week I guess, I was playing Monopoly with a bunch of youth at church and uh, some of the youth were just amassing large quantities of cash. They had all these bills and everything and that wasn't really helping them in their goal to create wealth. Because as people were passing by their properties or they weren't buying properties, they were just amassing cash. Um, and that cash wasn't really helping them at all. Whereas other people on the board were in investing in properties and throwing hotels, so they had almost no cash at all. Everything was thrown into uh, houses, hotels, and properties, so that as people passed their property, they amassed, uh, amassed a lot of uh, wealth. So if you think of it, Monopoly is like one of these games that helps you think um, in an economic terms. And this uh, is actually an idea put forth in a lot of personal development books that talk about financial prosperity. Um, one such uh, book I love is uh, by Robert Kiyosaki. He's the guy who wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Great ideas in that book. Um, again, you know, these personal development books, you get, if you get a lot of them, you get a, a much greater idea of, you know, how personal development um, works and uh, these ideas of personal finance. And I've got a lot of stuff to share with you, but this idea comes from Robert Kiyosaki and he actually mentions Monopoly in his book. And when he's talking to his, uh, he has a rich dad and a poor dad, uh, you can read his book for all the details. Those aren't important, but the important part is the concepts he learned from his wrist dad. His wrist dad basically says, it's like Monopoly, four houses make a hotel. And the idea is that you don't have to really go out and buy a hotel right away. You can, right out of the gate, you can start small. And you can do this with your personal finances as well. There are so many opportunities in the world right now to invest in small quantities. In fact, if you wanted to get into real estate, you can put money, like $100 at a time, into real estate through uh, other, you know, just go on, open an investment account and start investing in those things. You can, you know, put money aside or improve your real estate. There's so many things you can do with the money that you have saved. Now, um, you've gotta put all the money to, to work. It's like that Monopoly board where you take all your cash and you put it to work. But this, um, and, and you've gotta protect it, protect your cash and you know, you're gonna come up with new ideas like, oh, I want a boat, I want this, I want this. But there are two rules that you've gotta follow. And these two rules come from a lot of different personal development um, works out there on personal finances. But the, the, the few that I wanna point out, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, right, by uh, Robert uh, Kiyosaki, and uh, The Richest Man in Babylon, that's a story of this guy, and it takes place in ancient times, and he's got all these scrolls that he inherited, and each of the, one of them have little bits of wisdom, and all these bits of wisdom will help him like build his riches, right? part of one, of one of those bits of wisdom. And there's actually these two rules that are gonna help you implement this monopoly idea. Part of it is you get to keep part of what you earn. So all the money that's coming in, you get to, in fact, you have to keep part of that. That doesn't mean save it for a rainy day so you can spend it later. That doesn't mean, you know, put all your money together so you can buy something for your, you know, improve your lifestyle. It means, that part of what you earn, and most books point to either 10 or 20% of that income coming in, you're gonna keep for how long? Forever. You're gonna keep it as part of your wealth. And what are you gonna do with that money? You're gonna make that money work for you. You're gonna put it to work in your investments, you're gonna put it to work. And there are so many other, so many ideas for investments. You know, that's, that's, that shouldn't really be an issue. You can get out there and that's gonna be part of what you spend your time on is learning about investments. It's like that, that book called uh, Four Laws of per, uh, Personal Prosperity, uh, Four Laws of per, uh, Financial Prosperity. <laughs> and it talks about, um, you know, uh, he's got four laws. One of them is um, learning, right? That's the train part. Uh, trim, track, train, and... Uh, Track, trim, train, and yeah, I, whatever they are. Um, but the, all these rules and laws that you learn from all these sources, basically on this, they come together. Part of what you earn is yours to keep and you gotta make your money work for you. That means you're reducing your expenses, 
trying to increase your income and keeping some of that and putting it to work for you. So that's the the um, lesson I have from you. It's a tip from Monopoly, Monopoly game that if employed in your life, and maybe you got to swallow this uh, subconsciously as well and just believe that you can do this. Um, so there's a lot of little moving elements to this. But that one tip from Monopoly, help you build riches, four houses makes a hotel, keep some of your money, put your money to work for you. And that's what I have to share for you today. I'd love to hear what you have to say. What are your thoughts on this subject? Have you done this? Have you seen some ex uh, success come in your life? Put your uh, thoughts and, and you know, experiences down in, your, in the comments and you know we'll start a discussion. Um, if you liked any bit of part of this video, give it a thumbs up. You can leave a tip. You can join my YouTube channel um, by you know making a, a, join the membership there. I, uh, just become a, a sponsor. Or what do you call them on Patreon and stuff? I've got all that set up for you there. And um, if you if you want to see more personal development in your life, please subscribe so you see more of these ideas. Every bit of personal development is going to help you build up your yourself so you can become you know, a more uh, successful person and live a happier, fuller life. And this is Ben Balden from Live a Happier, Fuller Life YouTube channel reminding you to live a happier, fuller life. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.